blessings blessing everyone blessings from eat good tv scissoring savoring little is much with all in it today we are making oven roast pork let's begin here are all the ingredients we need we need our all spice this is also called pimento i'm gonna use, i'm gonna grind a half and use a half old this is all purpose seasoning island spice one tablespoon and this is complete season one tablespoon complete season and this is garlic and onion powder mixed together and over here i have scallion ginger scotch bonnet pepper garlic onion and thyme and over here we have the star of the show the pork I'm grinding a half of the oil spice because I like it grind. So I just grind a half of it, more than a half. I just grind it because I like when I grind it. I'm just going to put some hole in this for the season to go through. So this season, you can put the season through all the holes. Just make them a, cut them a little wider. Place all your dry season together. Everything, just place them together. And just mix them. And add the pimento. I just add a teaspoon of grind pimento. To the mixture if you don't have any grinder just use a bottle to just um, pound the pimento use a bottle to pound the pimento because when you use the bottle to pound the pimento it gets out all the flavor in the pimento pimento all spice Add all your season to the meat. I'm gonna I'm gonna push these inside, just like how our grandparents and great grandparents they used to stuff the meat. They stuff all the holes, and if it's not big enough, they would make bigger holes. So you just make holes, holes in the meat, good holes in the meat. And if they're not big enough, you make bigger holes. All right, go through, go down. You make bigger holes if they're not big enough. And you just keep on stuffing it with your scallion too. So this is like stuffing it. You stuff all the holes. Okay, I'm just going to do like two to show you. With everything. You put some thyme in it too. Just break off a piece of thyme. And put the scallion and the thyme and the onion and the garlic. Everything down inside of the meat. And years ago, my mother used to, you know, just stick it with a fork to get all of the, the um, the powdered seasoning. But now they have a plunger, so you just plunge the meat. Instead of using the fork, they would plunge it, plunge the side to make all of the powder season getting there. Yeah. Right, the meat is so nice and delicious and juicy. Now that all the hole is stuffed, everything I stuff it all. Now that everything is stuffed, I'm gonna use the dry season. So this is the dry rub. So I'm gonna use it on the meat. Let me make sure the back of the meat gonna get it the front the side every part of the meat get the dry rub and i'm gonna wrap it and let it marinate 24 hours before i cook it
and I stiff out a low fork. Just add some salt to the pork. Add some salt to the pork. So I'm adding about a teaspoon of salt to the pork. Just add some salt to the pork. And this is Himalayan salt. I'm just gonna add a little to the pork. Not much, cause you know the other seeds, complete season, all purpose season of salt. So I'm just adding a little salt to the pork okay and i'm gonna wrap it right now with some saran wrap you can place into a ziplock bag or a saran wrap bag i'm just gonna put these seeds inside of the bag and i'm gonna leave it for 24 hours because i want it to marinate overnight So this is it so I'm gonna just seal it if it can't seal I just wrap it with some foil paper this season that left over I'm gonna put it in the pot in the oven this is our season so just leave it leave it outside for one hour and then place it in the fridge leave it outside one hour to marinate and you place it in the fridge overnight Family, it's 24 hours now, so I'm gonna pour it all this season, this leftover season here, I'm just gonna pour it in the pot. I'm just gonna pour everything in the pot. And I'm just gonna add like two cups of water. I'm just gonna put this in the pot and you can always crush the pimento because when you crush the pimento all the essential oil come out crush your pimento you can use a bottle to crush it I'm gonna crush them and put in here to show you and you just rest the pork right in here and you're gonna leave it open and when it's brown all brown then I'm gonna um just turn it over a bit so I show you so if you don't have a grinder you can always just roll the pimento crush them just crush them like this or you can just pound them my grandmother always pound it it made the food taste better and pounded and you just put it in the pot Good. See? these was the old time days this is old school but they used to brown the pork on top of this the fire wood fire but I'm gonna we have it easy now just put it in the oven in the Dutch pot and let it cook So I'm going to marinate all my meat. You see, I'm cooking now for Christmas and Thanksgiving. I'm going to marinate them. I want to make your next video should be the beef. Pot roast, Jack. You know about pot roast? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I know about it. Yeah. So pot roast would be next. Okay. So, beef pot so roast. So what you going to do now? I'm going to stick it in the oven. The oven is preheated at 250 degrees. So I'm just going to put this in the oven. So when I'm ready to base it with a spoon or turkey baser, I'll show you. Place the Dutch pot in the oven and let it cook. This is cooking for an hour and a half now, so I'm gonna base it. You can base it with a turkey baster. So I'm just gonna base it right now. So you just pull the liquid up and just base it. It's 
it's about an hour and a half in the oven when it's golden the way you like it then you're gonna cover it you can cover it with a foil paper so I'm gonna cover it with a wax paper under the bottom and a foil paper at the top and this is delicious it's gonna be delicious 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 and juicy when you do it this way or you, or you can use a spoon so how long has it been right now since you hour and a half hour. I, right hour and a half so i base it and i put it back to cook until it get the color that i like and then i cover it and make sure i get the color before i cover it because sometimes you forget it in the oven and then it's it's not if you cover it first then you forget it sometime and it's not brown i like when it's gogo then right so you just use your spoon or turkey baser just base it and when you get the color then i'm gonna cover it with wax paper and file paper but I I'm just gonna check it with the fork. If you have a thermometer, you can check it. But it's not cooked yet. So I'm gonna just cover it. It's not cooked. So I'm covering it with wax paper. I had covered it before, but I didn't show it. So I'm covering it with wax paper and file paper. And let it just stay in the oven and cook. And I'll show you when it's fully cooked and ready to slice. This roasted pork is smelling up the place, smelling up the place. Bye from Eat Good TV. Love you. Wish you all the best. Bye.